Hello. Welcome to Worship with University Baptist Church as we end 2022 and step into the beginning of 2023 together. You know, many places always do a year-end retrospective. Uh, We're not going to do that. However, we're going to do a a two-decades-long-end retrospective. Some of you may remember that uh, in May of 2020, we celebrated our 20th birthday, the 20-year anniversary of the founding of University Baptist Church of Starkville. And we created a video retrospective meeting with several of our former pastors, uh, former members, founding members, current members, friends from the community, singers and songwriters, and so on, telling our story. I want us to revisit that again today. So we're going to do a rebroadcast, if you will, so that all of us together, wherever we are, However we're watching this, if you are new to UBC, this is a great opportunity to find out more about why we got started, how we got started, what God is doing in our unique fellowship right here in the Golden Triangle. And if you're not new, if you've been with us for two years, five years, 20 years, um, 22 years, (laughs) this is a good time just for all of us together, again, one in the Spirit, to remind ourselves, to remember. It's a biblical theme. Remember, remember, tell your story, tell your story. So let's pause and collectively, individually where we are, but collectively as a people of faith, listen and remember our story so that as we step into 2023 with all kinds of opportunities ahead of us, even as early as January, some new things are happening that we walk together, tuned in to the wild and mischievous spirit and what the spirit is calling us and leading us to do and doing within each of us. At the end of the service, you'll see a card that has our website on it. I'll go ahead and mention it, ubcstarkville.org. We invite you to look at our website, see what's going on, get to know who we are even better. And there's a link there. If you want to contribute uh, wherever you are, if you want to say, hey, I'd like to support what this church is doing, uh, what this community of faith is doing, and the good work God is doing, you can click donate. And there's different ways to do that through mail, a physical address, or through Venmo or PayPal and your credit card, debit card, things like that. Or if you just have questions or comments and would like to reach out to us, maybe you have a need we can pray for. Go to the website. You'll see it there again at the end of the service. And uh, click Contact Us. My co-pastor, Sarah Harrington-Jones, or I, or any one of our leaders will be in contact you with you just as soon as we can, probably early in the next week because of the holidays. Bless you. God bless you. God keep you. And may the wildly inclusive love of Christ flow through you and renew your spirit for this new year. Good morning, and welcome to Worship with University Baptist Church in Starkville. Today is a very special day in the life of our congregation, We are 20 years old, so today what we're going to do to celebrate this is we're going to celebrate our story. One of the recurring themes throughout the Holy Scriptures is to tell our story, to remember where we came from and how we got to where we're going, and to see the hand of God walking with us and guiding us. So that's what we're going to do this morning. Over 20 years being in a university town, many people have come and gone through our fellowship. We have a founding member back with us. We have both, or actually all three previous pastors. Uh, I am either the third or the fourth, depending on how you count. The first pastor was Steve Brown. Then came John Hendricks as an interim supply preacher who drove up from Clinton, Mississippi uh, every weekend for about a year. And then after that, his wife, Leela Hendricks, began to join him, and soon they moved to Starkville and became co-pastors, which means I'm either the third or now the fourth, depending on how you look at John and Leela as co-pastors um, in terms of series of pastors. 
Founding member Diana Bridges will be part of the storytelling adventure for us, but she'll also be playing the piano for us. And the words will be on the screen so that you can sing along with two of the great hymns that I think sum up the spirit of University Baptist Church. They'll know we are Christians by our love, and we are travelers on a journey, sometimes called the servant song. We also have a special guest, a longtime friend of University Baptist Church from the very beginning days, singer-songwriter Kate Campbell, who will be sharing another song that summarizes the spirit and theology of University Baptist Church, There's a Wideness in God's Mercy. So today I hope that you enjoy hearing where we came from, how we got to where we are, and what God has been doing um, throughout this journey, as we're still traveling on our journey. Um, most of the original um, members of University Baptist did come from First Baptist Starkville. I grew up in First Baptist, and it was a very progressive church at the time, and uh, a place that had really taught me to um, examine scriptures on my own and and to grow and and all. And um, First Baptist was going through a time when it was reevaluating its progressive nature and um, was becoming more conservative than it had been before. We were part of a really good Sunday school class at First Baptist and the church had been in a transition for a while and it was transitioning in a direction that was to me unexpected and um, and negative uh, in terms of its um, in terms of its uh, view of women in ministry in particular, and so the Sunday school class was a a safe a safe space, even when the church ceased to be in some regard. Among the group of UBC folks, many of us felt um, pushed aside in the process um, as that church grew and expanded um, in a different direction, the rest of us were pushed aside and um, our philosophies were um, not appreciated or, um, or were even ridiculed, I guess you'd say. 
So um, it, it came, it, we had a kind of an authoritarian rebellion, I guess you'd say. And that is why, in my opinion, UBC to this day does not have deacons. Um, I think we got so tired of deacons and their meetings back when we were in a traditional church that we said, you know, we can live without deacons at this church. And so that's how we've ended up, I think, with the vision team instead of deacons and, and the like. Um, so well, I mean, our, our deacon is Deborah Ann, of course. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and when I first came to UBC, I was not real sure what the makeup of the church was or kind of why they were forming. And it wasn't long before I got there that I realized that these folks who had decided to assemble together were people who were basically uh, reminding me of what was important to me in my own faith journey uh, as a Baptist at that point. Uh, um, because they really truly believed in the priesthood of the believer and the local autonomy of the church. And, and they had gone through a very difficult time, I think, in leaving a church home that was very familiar to them and that they felt very comfortable in. And many of them had very prominent leadership roles. And so for them to step out of that role and to form a new uh, fellowship of believers on faith uh, to me was a huge uh, indication that they valued who they were as Baptists. If you really know what a Baptist is, then what they, what they did was a leap of faith to say, here we stand. There were many in the church that were supportive of international ministry, which was my thing, of course. Um, and I wanted to hold on to that as, as best I could. I wanted us to be able to work together, but uh, women in ministry was a huge issue for me. And so um, when I was put up two different times um, on the, the deacon nomination list, and, you know, it's, it's not such a big deal that I wasn't elected, but the idea that women were no longer acceptable, that was a big deal to me. So um, after the second time that happened, it just became clear that something needed to change. And within the Sunday school class, we had a core group of people uh, that felt a similar way. And then others joined around us um, that we hadn't realized were in our community. So I remember very well the, the early discussions and the early meetings about, okay, you know, do we want to go in the direction of a new church? And if so, you know, how, how will it be different? So, um, so that those were good and exciting days after a lot of stress, actually. I got a call from the gentleman who was the head of the state Mississippi CBF saying that there was a need for a, a supply pastor at a church that was kind of branching off from First Baptist Church in Starkville. And then he asked me if I'd be interested in coming and speaking. And I said, well, sure. And then that kind of evolved into not only uh, pulpit supply, but uh, kind of a short-term interim and then a longer-term interim. And I'm not sure if I ever actually became uh, their uh, part-time pastor, uh, but it, it was an enjoyable time to go. Uh, what I remember was um, a lunch that we had, must have been at the Brazils, um, where Steve and Kelly and their children were there. And really from the beginning, I, th I think he must have preached for us a couple of times, and we just realized that after a time of great turmoil, uh, his ministry as a chaplain was very comforting to us and kind of gave us the healing that we needed in the early days because I think we'd all, you know, kind of been through the ringer. And so um, his, his way of preaching, his way of being um, really met a lot of needs for us. And it was great to connect with people in Columbus to realize that maybe the reach of our church was beyond Starkville as well. So having, having all four of them as part of our church community was, was fantastic. It was, it was a great first step for us as a congregation. Hi, I'm Ken Watkins. I was the director of the Baptist Student Union at Mississippi State for 
like from 1980 to 2001. I was around when University Baptist was born, and I've watched it grow, become the uh, a city set on the hill, a light in the darkness, a model for authenticity, a place of inclusion, and a place of grace. And so I'm here to celebrate your 20th anniversary, your 20th birthday, and I look forward to, to the path ahead and what God, God does in the life of this church. Greetings, University Baptist Church. I'm Ursula Harrison. Some of you know me as the director of the Baptist Student Center at Mississippi State University from 1976 to 1980. Others as coordinator of the Tennessee Cooperative Baptist Fellowship from 1998 to 2008. Others as a friend of your maverick pastor, Bert Montgomery. I wish we could be with you personally, but Rita and I send our greetings as you celebrate your 20th anniversary as a free and faithful Baptist congregation. We are so grateful for your progressive and inclusive witness in your community. May God continue to bless you and guide you in the days ahead. Live long and prosper. I am excited today to bring greetings from Baptist Women in Ministry and Central Baptist Theological Seminary and to say happy birthday, University Baptist Church. We are so thankful for you and for the wonderful ways that you have provided leadership and advocacy for women who are called and gifted by God for ministry. Thank you for supporting them in so many different ways and for supporting the work of Baptist Women in Ministry. It has been a joy to be a partner with you as a congregation in doing this work that God has called us to. So happy birthday. Celebrate and enjoy this special day together. Know that we are celebrating with you all over the BWM and Central community. Happy birthday. Well, hello and happy anniversary, University Baptist Church in Starkville, Mississippi. Woo! <laughs> I'm so excited to be invited to Will um to be part of your celebration. I'm excited to have been part of your ministry from time to time. Um, it is a blessing that you are who you are. Um, and on behalf of CBF and my personal self, <laughs> I'm glad about the unique ministry that you all have. You, you all individually and collectively are a gift. You have created space for those who want to know and learn about God can find safe space to be exactly who they are and be authentically um, in the presence of God. And the model of your ministry is important. You all individually are important. And we are so glad that you are part of the Cooperative Baptist uh, family. And so I wish you well another 100 years <laughs> of ministry and acceptance um, of those who have found themselves in broken places in other ministries. And so thank you, thank you, thank you, and happy anniversary. Happy birthday, University Baptist Church in Starkville. You are a beloved community in every way Dr. King imagined. Uh, you are a prayer uh, come true, a vision turned into reality in Starkville, Mississippi. And on behalf of the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship of Mississippi, I am so grateful that you turned 20 years old. Uh, I can't wait to see what the next uh, 20 plus years have in store for you. You are a light, you are a light in Starkville and in Mississippi and in the whole world. Every time I get to worship with you guys, it's always uh, a powerful experience to me to see how God brings people from all over together uh, to, to worship. Uh, in, in ways that are transforming for me personally, but in ways that are transformative for everybody who's there. So happy birthday, happy birthday, much love to you. Take care. I came to uh, university a year before we ever moved. And I was just coming up on Sundays and uh, preaching and then going back to Clinton. 
And uh, I don't know, sometime in that period of time, I started getting sleepy going back to Clinton. And uh, so sometime in that period of time, Leela started coming with me and trying to keep me awake. And we were invited to attend uh, UBC when John Hendricks was the interim pastor. And we went because we knew John and we knew a lot about him and his background and, and what was important to him. And so we went that first day and we joined, much to David's surprise. He was not expecting that, but I took him down the aisle and we joined. So that's how we got there. It was such an interesting choice to have co-pastors. And I remember some of the discussions about, well, are we calling John? Are we calling John and Leela? And when we decided to call John and Leela, it was just so interesting. And I had never been in a church with a, a woman pastor before. So even though I believed in it, I had never seen it. And it was um, really wonderful to see both of them ministering together as a team. And they each brought their own gifts to the process. So we started talking about moving to Starkville. And uh, so in that discussion, uh, I approached university about coming as co-pastors. We talked to the church and they weren't quite sure about that. They, they had some questions about it. And so I said, well, why don't you let Leela preach and see what you think? So Leela did preach, and they discovered that she was better than I was. <laughs> and so we were called as co-pastors. And we basically just traded off every week. And I remember um, going to state CBF meetings together, and that was a, a, a positive because, you know, we were a very small church, and being able to connect to something that was bigger than ourselves in the early days was very important, I thought. And uh, both John and Lee were, Leela were extremely encouraging to us as a as a congregation and then to me in particular they went out of their way um, to to find ways to encourage me um, because there were a lot of ups and downs in my own ministry at that time and I kind of could hear the clock ticking um, and so to be able to focus on ministry as long as I was able to was very important and they were part along with a lot of others in the church of helping me just to be able to focus on on the ministry that was in front of me and i think specifically john and leela helpful in their pastorate uh with us uh, i think uh, they they may have been frustrated many times and i'm sure they were and they said this um and uh, but but it helped me to have them here uh, through that time. So I think that was, that they were a godsend to us. University gave me uh, an opportunity that no other church would have done. My history of being a Baptist kid uh, all my life is, is a story of wanting to always be involved in the church so when I married my youth minister, John Hendricks, when um, I was just out of high school and he was starting seminary, I became involved in a movement which we would call the Moderate Progressive Baptist Group. And our story has been one of constant moving of our willingness to try things and be a little bit fringy, maybe, on uh, what we attempted. So the co-pastor idea was one that uh, I would not have had 
if university hadn't let me try that out. And I've been supportive of women in ministry for so long that it was uh, uh, just a, a blessing that the church gave to me. Good years for us. Good years. At the, at the invitation, Pam jumped out in the aisle and went forward and left me standing there. And I said, well, I guess we're joining this church. We were members of a church in, in Columbus at the time. So uh, we joined. That was uh, a long time ago. And we were there a little over two years as co-pastors. So all together... We were there three years. Congratulations, University Baptist Church, on your 20th anniversary. I'm David Cassidy. I'm the president at the Baptist Seminary of Kentucky. I'm Dalen Jackson, academic dean at Baptist Seminary of Kentucky. I'm David Adams from Baptist Seminary of Kentucky, and I want to say happy birthday for University Baptist Church. BSK has so many wonderful connections with your congregation, from Dr. Greg Earwood, our past president, to John and Leela Hendricks. John Hendricks was my senior professor in seminary, and BSK alumni Sarah Harrington-Jones, all the way to your illustrative pastor and BSK alumni, Bert Montgomery. You've been through a lot over the years. First, Leela Hendricks' husband, then Bert. We're grateful for the relationship that UBC has had with BSK over the years. Uh, first, you were a charter church in our early years, and then you were a church that was willing to take a gamble on one of our graduates. I hope that's working out. But in all seriousness, when I am online and I'm talking to people who are fed up with church, and they're wondering, is there any Christian church anywhere to whom they can turn? I can always say, Hey, if you live in Mississippi, I know a church that you need to know about. You need to be there because you're doing such wonderful things. It brings me joy every week to see what's going on at UBC. I see the way you show God's love for other people, the way you make music with abandon, uh, the way you give a voice to people who often don't have a voice, and the way you invite everyone to your table, to God's table. You're an inspiration. We truly consider you to be part of the BSK community. So as you celebrate your birthday, I want to say happy birthday. And I hope that you're going to be there for a long time. Keep doing what you're doing. It's very special. Congratulations on 20 years of you being you. May God bless you as you continue to share God's love and grace in Starkville through your creative, inclusive, and meaningful worship and ministry. Congratulations, UBC. I'm thankful for UBC because it's given a place to so many people uh, for a whole lot of different reasons. So in recent years, coming back for the Advent retreat has been so encouraging to me. When I've come in and there have been uh, families and people I didn't know and children, uh, especially the children. Since I've been away from UBC, the ways that I believe I've seen the Holy Spirit working uh, is that UBC has become clearer about who they are as a church. From University Baptist first days, it has been a church for people to find healing. Um, Steve Brown was the perfect first pastor to nurture a group of hurting individuals who came looking for a church that could be a refuge and a place to grow and a place, a place to love one another. And, and we really did that in those first years. It, it was a very nurturing environment. I do get the sense that you have become a more welcoming church, more inclusive, even than we were 
since we left in 2008. And I like that. I'm so proud of you for doing that and being uh, so open and uh, responsive to people's needs, whoever and wherever they come from. Then as John and Leela got here, we started um, figuring out what to do with our new legs, our new direction. And then as you came on, it, it catapulted us in to where we are now. And so I think UBC remains a place for those who need healing and a refuge, um, just like it was, it was basically founded for that type of church, and it still is. The, the needs aren't that different from what those early church members were experiencing at the traditional churches to what people now are experiencing at traditional churches, but they need something different. And I think that is what UBC can offer today. And it's true to how it was formed and what our purpose was 20 years ago. So to be able to see UBC become a home, a church home, a faith community for people who have not had that in Starkville, for people who wouldn't be necessarily welcomed with open arms in other faith communities has been a, a great source of joy for me. We are now in a place where uh, the, the refuge is for folks who are entirely unwelcome in other traditional church environments, but still understand that they need church and they need us and we need them. And uh, that's, that's just the fabulous place that we are today. UBC has a role in this community and many people have found that when they had believed that they didn't have a place in a Christian community, that they have found that they indeed do have a place in a Christian community. And I think that's a, an important role that um, UBC plays and has played throughout its 20 years has moved in a way, I think, that really is more representative of what the church is supposed to be, to say that uh, Jesus Christ came to this earth to accept us for who we are, to love us, to remind us that we are all important, and to say that we need to reach out to all people. And the transitions that have happened, the people that have come, the people that have gone, uh, the decisions that have been made have made space in a way that we didn't imagine at first, but thankfully God has remained at work within this community. And for the last three or four years, I think um, going to the worship services on Sunday after Advent retreat, I've come home with just this sense of, of, of excitement and joy about what God is doing in ways um, that I couldn't have imagined before. Hi, I'm Benton Stokes, singer-songwriter, uh, originally from Nashville, now living in San Jose, California. Uh, Bert asked me to, and I'm very pleased and honored to, uh, share a brief video um, congratulating you guys on 20 years. Uh, what a milestone. And uh, I really thank God uh, that University Baptist is there in Starkville uh, to be a light and uh, to be a place where anyone and everyone is always welcome. I think it's just... The work that you guys do is so important, um, so thank you for what you do. Um, I've I had many really great memories of, of being there in Starville with you all. Uh, I did a, a house concert once at Judy and Laura's. I was there for the, the baptisms of uh, Patrick and Richard Jones, uh, and then my ministry partner and friend Elaine O'Rourke and I were there last year to walk in pride with you uh, and to share with you in worship. And there's just been so many wonderful uh, ties to University Baptist over the years. So I'm really thrilled uh, to be able to congratulate you on 20 years. I think it's just a tremendous milestone. Uh, and uh, so thank you for letting me be a small part of your legacy. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Hey, everybody. Hello. Uh, Drew and Courtney here. We want to say a big, happy 20-year anniversary to UBC Church. Yes. Uh, love all you guys. And um, 
Hope you'll have many, many, many more years. There are many more years of UBC. Take a load off Fanny. Take a load for free. Take a load off Fanny. Fanny. You put the load right on me. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Hey y'all, y'all. Kate Campbell here. I think this is about take number 5,000 and something. Um, I don't do very much of this and I thought I would just try to do this uh, little video here on my iPhone. So uh, here we are. Uh, let's see if I get through this one. Um, anyway, just wanted to say congratulations to um, all y'all good folks who've been uh, gathering for 20 years now as the University Baptist Church uh, down in Starkville. And um, thank you for including me throughout a good many of those years um, to come and worship and fellowship with you. And uh, do you think I might qualify as an honorary charter member by now? Not sure. Anyway, I think I've got some photos of me standing in the cotton fields down there. And plus I've had a lot of good food through the years. Um, but most important, is the grace and acceptance uh, you have shown, not only to me, but to the whole community, uh, you have extended a wideness of God's mercy um, all these years now. Uh, so I'm gonna sing that hymn and play the guitar a little bit, and I hope if you're at home watching or whatever, you'll just uh, feel free to sing along. I won't hear you, so I won't know if you're not singing it on tune or anything, so don't worry about that. Um, so. There's a white medicine, God's mercy, like the whiteness of the sea. There's a kindness in His justice, which He Grace and peace.
Hi, my name is Deborah Jackson, and I've been a part of University Baptist Church for eight years now. Um, University Church, Baptist Church means a lot to me because I think the very first time I went there, um, when we did prayers for the people, it was just very special. It was very personal. And I decided at that time that I wanted to be a part of that church. So thank you for letting me be a part of this 20th anniversary service. And uh, I'll be celebrating it, it with you as we go through the rest of the service. At this moment, though, we're all invited to respond through the giving of tithes and offerings. Um, we're all called to give our hearts, our minds, and our lives in service to God and to this world that God so loves. And for those of us who are able, we're invited to give financially to support University Baptist Church's continuing witness to the wildly inclusive love of Jesus and the wide diversity of God's beautiful kingdom. Visit our website, the UBC website, to find our mailing address. If you want to send a check or if you want to uh, contribute online, you can click on the secure PayPal link. But first, I ask you to join me for our off toy prayer. Loving God, thank you for these 20 years of life and witness to your Spirit's work in this world through University Baptist Church. Accept these gifts we offer now and multiply them generously through this community of faith as we do seek to do justice, love, mercy, and walk humbly in Starkville and beyond. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy birthday, University Baptist Church. It's, it's had a place in the community, and I think that is the most important thing that UBC has accomplished is maintaining a, uh, a place in the community that there are many people who know and respect and love the ministry of UBC. It gives me great pleasure to wish University Baptist Church a happy 20th anniversary. Had I remembered I was recording this video today, I might have shaved before coming into the office. Y'all are a friendly, welcoming congregation. I've enjoyed the many times I have snuck in and sat in the back and attended, and I've appreciated the times that I've been allowed to participate and speak. I find you to be a fine group of people, and I must praise your pastor, Burt Montgomery, uh, though don't show him this and let him know I did that. Y'all, under his leadership, have been leaders of inclusivity, interfaith dialogue, and social justice. Starkville and the Golden Triangle in general 
is lucky to have a congregation such as University Baptist Church in its midst, and I am happy to have been able to ally with this congregation and to be sort of your uh, rabbi in residence, perhaps. But it is a great pleasure to wish you a happy 20th birthday. Continue to do the good work. Anyone who wants to know what a Christian is and sees the work of University Baptist Church will think, hey, being a Christian is a pretty good thing. So I'm proud to know y'all. Hello, UBC. Assalamu alaikum. May peace be upon all of you. I'm Ronnie Sullivan, the advisor for the Muslim Student Association at Mississippi State University. And I'm delighted to be able to tell you how important and special you are to our community. UBC, under the leadership of Reverend Bart Montgomery, has provided such comfort and care to our community, especially in very difficult times, and we are thankful. We are thankful for that care. We're thankful for your support. We are thankful for your friendship and for your neighborliness, all the highest ideals for a person of faith, and we thank you for that. So I want to wish you all a happy 20th birthday, and my greatest wish is for you to grow richer and stronger. Happy birthday. Bye now. Hi everyone, this is Ifash. Hi, this is Ali. We met our dear friend Bert Montgomery about five years ago in Starkville and um, before the, di the friend interfaith dialogue dinner. And later he invited us to join the UBC family. And from that time to now, we are in this family and we feel um, very proud to be with you all guys. And um, UBC family was the big supporter of the interfaith dialogue. And also he it had a lot of uh, family activities and we attended those Sunday worships as well. Everything was great. And um, we cannot enough say thank you, but thank you for everything, every moment that you shared with us. And happy 20th birthday, birthday to UBC. Bye-bye. de parte de la Terraza Mexican Restaurant y de todo el equipo que conformamos el restaurante, queremos felicitar a la iglesia OBC por un nuevo año. Queremos agradecer en especial a Bert por todo lo que ha hecho por nosotros, eh, por todo el apoyo que nos han dado todos en la iglesia y en especial por todo el soporte que han hecho por nosotros en estos últimos días que han sido muy fuertes. En verdad se los agradecemos mucho y queremos que sigan adelante y sigan ayudando al prójimo y esperemos que esto dure no solamente uno o dos años más, queremos que sea pues por siempre. Muchas gracias por todo, feliz aniversario y esperamos verlos pronto por aquí de nuevo. Cuídense mucho, los queremos mucho de parte de la terraza. From all of us here in La Terraza, Starkville, we're so grateful that y'all have been with us for so many years and we hope to see you soon. Greetings, UBC. I'm David Hood from Dave's Dark Horse Tavern. Uh, I just wanted to wish you guys a happy birthday. I love your congregation and how unique it is and how it kind of mirrors uh, the tavern and the mission of the tavern to be all inclusive and to love and to make everybody feel welcome. And that is definitely something you guys espouse and it's something we strive to at the tavern. And, and it's weird that, or strange or unique that our worlds have come together again in such a terrible time. But it's also made not just me, but members of my staff, Jorge and Capri, feel very, very special. Uh, and, and when this is behind us, there's no question that this, the, the, the bond between your church, our communities, are, uh, will, will be something I'll remember very, very fondly. So I just want to wish you guys a happy birthday, and I want to thank you for your prayers and look forward to ministering to the community together, no question. 
And from what I understand, you guys are, uh, I guess it's um, your 20th birthday, so uh, maybe next year I can buy you guys a drink. So happy birthday, UBC. Much love from Dave's Dark Horse Tavern and, and me and Jorge and Capri and Kathy and all my folks. We love you guys and we cannot wait to see every, everybody back inside. Hi, I'm Patty Lathan, Vice President and Treasurer of Starkville Pride. And Mike Brazil's on here with us as well. He is President of Starkville Pride. And we would like to wish University Baptist Church a happy 20th birthday. We've worked with UBC for the past three years, and we cannot express enough how thankful we are to work with such an accepting and affirming congregation. Through our work with Safe Zone, um, both Mike and I know a lot of LGBTQ individuals that experience negativity and even rejection from their religious communities and support from affirming churches such as UBC can help them find a new home where they are accepted and um, they just feel more themselves. So thank you to all the members of UBC for just being there and happy 20th birthday. Hey everybody at UBC, this is Mike Brazil. Like Patty said, I'm the president of Startville Pride and you might be able to tell from the video that I'm lying in bed because I had knee replacement surgery today and I'm on some painkillers too. So I, I hold no responsibility for what I say unless it's charming and then I meant every word of it. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, just like Patty said, you've been there for us when we needed you to help us make pride happen, to make it a thing for the city of Starkville. Uh, you are our biggest supporters and always have been. Uh, I earned my doctorate here in Starkville, and when they invited me to come back a few years later to teach, knowing that you guys were here uh, was actually one of the deciding factors for me to come back to town because that told me that, that some people in Starkville were getting it right. And you folks at UBC are those people. We appreciate you more than you will ever know. And we are so excited that Bert asked us to wish you a happy birthday. So happy birthday from everybody at Starkville Pride.
Well, first of all, congratulations on 20 years. That's, that's an accomplishment. UBC was a very stabilizing force in my family's life. I hope we had some uh, benefit for the church, but please know that for UBC, you, this church meant a lot to us and to our, to our lives, both uh, then and now. We're just, we're happy to have been along this journey with UBC for 20 years. Even though we weren't members all 20 years, I think we were charter prospects. We were charter persons of interest <laughs> from the very beginning. I can't believe it's been 20 years. It's just amazing to me that that, that was 20 years ago that uh, we began and we did the paperwork and um, I, I remember uh, when we became official, and I'm so excited that it's lasted 20 years, and I'm so excited to see what happens next. So happy 20th anniversary to University Baptist Church, Starkville, Mississippi. Happy birthday, UBC. Happy 20th birthday. I was only 11 years old when we joined. Uh, That's so why I had to take him. We, we're glad that, to have made it through the 20 years. And so as I look back now and see what y'all are doing now, I'm, I'm amazed at the ways that you all have broken down barriers and tried to establish bridges between all people. And I recognize that sometimes people don't want to cross those bridges. But I think for the most part, it's been really encouraging for me to see how I think you really are embodying what it means to be the body of Christ. And, and we are glad to have been around to watch this journey and now to be as involved as we are. And what, what holds in the next 20 years, the sky's the limit, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. As you've watched this video celebration of our church, I hope that you have sensed the Spirit of God moving for 20 years, in and out and around and through the life of University Baptist Church and the journey that we are on in the Golden Triangle in the state of Mississippi in Starkville. As we end this service together and begin a new week together, let us remember what Jesus said of the two greatest commandments, to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. So as you go out into public this week, if you have to go out into public, love your neighbor. Wear your mask to protect them, whether or not you know if you're carrying anything. For the love of neighbor, wear your masks and keep a safe distance. And go in the wildly inclusive love of Jesus, celebrating the wide diversity of all God's children in the beloved community with a resilient hope a defiant joy, a stubborn peace, and revolutionary transformative love. In Jesus' name, amen.